Boys, it's Harmnad. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Squatty. It just got added into GTA right now. And uh, so you guys should be seeing this very shortly after it has first come out. It is four wheel drive and it is a four seater. Uh, so you can hold up to three of your friends while you drive. And it should be pretty good at off-roading given that it is four wheel drive. Let's get right into the customization here. All right, to start off with, we are going to go on the armor and we're going to go 100% on that. For the bodywork, we have quite a few options. We're going to see what we can do. Black roll bar, black gladiator roll bar, chrome roll bar, chrome gladiator, low profile side rails. Oh, that's cool. Troop carrier side rails, side rails with canopy frame, heavy troop carrier side rails, heavy rails, canopy, canopy, heavy rails, canopy frame side rails armored panels that's cool canopy frame with an armored panel heavy rails armored panel heavy rails frame and panel and that's it um i think we're gonna go for the option with the heavy mm, heavy rails armored panel no frame i don't want the frame i don't think for the brakes let's go all the way up on that for the bumpers we have a few options so for the front we have several Black Off-Road, Ridge, Crew, Stinger, Shield, Off-Road Ridge. Okay, these are all Chrome. Black Low Profile Bumper, Chrome Low Profile, Primary, Secondary, Black with Winch. Okay, cool. Um, so we have quite a few options. I think I'm going to go for the Black Off-Road Shield Bumper. I like that one the best. For the rear bumpers, we have the Black Bumper Bars, Chrome, Black Off-Road Trail Bumper, stinger bumper and the black heavy plated rear bumper uh we're gonna go for the black heavy plated i like that the best for the chassis we can go for some stowage racks on the side ammo boxes and jerry cans weapon crates and ammo boxes camo net and ammo boxes and camo net and weapons crate um i personally like this one just because it has the most stuff so i'm gonna go for that one for the doors, we have some options. We can go for a primary stock door, primary X-plated, primary beveled, primary beveled armor doors. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Secondary beveled armor plated. That's cool. Okay. Primary plated doors. Oh, and we can do some checker plated doors as well. We can also do primary medium armored doors. That's cool or heavy armored doors. I wonder if that actually makes the glass bulletproof. We're gonna have to put these on and we're gonna have to test this. For the engine, we're gonna go all the way up, of course. Exhaust, we have some options. Side exit chrome, okay. Titanium, trail exhaust. Dual chrome, so both sides, okay. We've also got the option for a low exit exhaust right there. That seems like a bad idea going right into that bag. I don't think, uh, I don't think we're gonna do that. Uh, let's just honestly I kind of like the stock or the dual. I think that let's go for the dual. Why not? For the grill we can go for a black grill guard Painted grill guard grill guard with blank with blank fogs grill guard with blank fogs LED bar fog lights black wide grill guard Wide grill guard with blank. Oh, oh man. There's a lot of options for this thing. I am really liking this This is sick um, I think we're going to go for this one with the light bar, maybe? Mm, actually, I don't know if I like that too much. I think we'll go for this one. Painted guard with fogs and LED. For the hood, we have some options. Primary stock hood with a bag. Primary vented scoop hood. Okay, interesting. Modular vents. Medium and triple modular vents. Okay. Plastic hood cover. And chrome hood cover. Um... I think we're probably gonna go for this one why not, not for the lights let's go xenon of course livery we have options we can do any type of camo on this thing i believe let's see if there's any new ones down towards the bottom no all the regular camo i'm gonna leave it with no camo personally for the mirrors we have some options we can go secondary stock mirror black modern mirrors secondary modern black long stem Black bolted wide and secondary bolted wide. Mm, probably gonna go for the black option. I think we're gonna go for the modern mirrors. I like those. 
and the plate yellow and black of course this thing doesn't even have a plate i don't think it doesn't that's kind of cool the primary color i think i want to go for you know what i honestly really like the desert tan as boring as that is um i do really actually like it uh we could go black for the secondary though just to change things up i think we will why not for the roof we have options we can go for a roof rack chrome roof rack cargo roof rack chrome cargo roof rack roof basket with fog lights oh cool okay light bar and we could go for this option with crates and ammo boxes hmm ah i feel like we've got enough stuff on here already um i think we're gonna go for the large roof basket with the led bar for these skirts we can go for side steps black running steps chrome running steps black ridge chrome ridge nerf bars nerf bars with plated step black running boards black trail running boards chrome running boards chrome trail trail side steps crew side steps stinger i think we're gonna go for the trail i like that look with the black um outline of it i think that's pretty cool we can also lower this thing way down if we want to i'm not going to personally transmission let's upgrade that all the way and turbo as well for the wheels i'm gonna go for some off-roads on this thing i'm gonna go for my new favorites which are the concave rally masters we like those we're gonna put mm, black probably yeah black on there that looks pretty slick for the wheels we're also going to put on bulletproof tires of course and for the windows we are going to tint those out all the way very cool i wish that there was something you could do for the front uh windows to make them a little more uh i don't know resistant to being shot through but that's okay let's take this thing down to the ground it looks way cooler than it did when we first brought it in so i'm pretty hyped about this um the acceleration off the line is not bad the car has a unique sound actually let's do a little sound test here while we're at it it's 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 pretty good sounding honestly for a hummer i i i think it sounds pretty good uh the acceleration is actually really good i just noticed that when i took off there this thing actually kind of rips this thing's like quite fast this is very impressive um the handling actually for being the big boat that it is it's actually not bad either um Driving this in the Keo Perico heist, I remember thinking that it was an absolutely awful vehicle, but now that I've actually customized it and upgraded it, um, I can genuinely say this thing is pretty good. Um, obviously, it's not an insurgent, it's not a night shark, but you know, it's for what it is, it's pretty good, I feel like. Um, it does run you a cool $1.3 million, which is an absolute ton, um, considering you can actually get a night shark for cheaper than this thing. But we're gonna test the armor of this thing in a minute here, and uh, see how it see how it stacks up towards the night shark. Also gonna test those bulletproof windows that we uh, equipped onto this thing and see if it actually does make any sort of a difference. All right, guys. So we're standing right outside of this thing. We're gonna test the windows and see if you can, in fact, shoot through them. So let's start this. <laughs> okay. Well, all that armor plating did not do anything uh it literally took one shot which is even less than i was expecting so yeah it, uh, it does absolutely nothing as far as i can tell which is quite unfortunate but you know what actually they sort of do eh, i can't really tell i feel like that's supposed to be the mirror's hitbox but because we changed it it's actually not the same um so it's not it's not that great really um the the window plating does absolutely nothing so there you go. We're going to do an armor test on this thing now. I'm going to shoot it directly in the front with an RPG and uh, we'll see how it uh, see how it takes it. Let's do this test. RPG to the front of the vehicle. Let's see if it can even take one. That's very unfortunate. It can't take an RPG. So guys, for the money, this thing is a lot. 1.13 um, million. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than the Night Shark. So that is good. Uh, because if it was more expensive than the Night Shark, I could never recommend you guys to buy it. Uh, but as just a cool car, it's it's very cool. There's a lot of customization. It's very fun, um, and I really actually like this thing a lot. Um, so if you're into Humvees and you know military vehicles and stuff like that, by all means, you should probably get this thing. It's not that expensive, but at the same time, it's in Night Shark territory. So if you don't have a Night Shark, 
but you're trying to buy this thing, I'd say change your priorities a little bit, get a Night Shark first. That's my opinion. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like. If not, dislike. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.